The Zia symbol has become the symbol of New Mexico. Many New Mexicans wear it proudly on their clothes, their hats, even their skin. But it really belongs to the Zia Pueblo. Now, one New Mexico business is making sure they benefit from its use. News 13's Rachel Knapp explains. The Zia is one of the things New Mexico is known for. It's what makes New Mexico's flag. It comes from the Zia Pueblo and represents the tribe's philosophy and spiritualism with the universe. Those two right there. Nowadays, the Zia is everywhere on socks, postcards, baseballs, patches, mugs, teddy bears, and even drinks. There's no escaping the Zia in New Mexico, but there's been a long fight over its use. We didn't want to use it without permission. We wanted to make sure that we honor their tribe. Oregon Mountain Outfitters, a Las Cruces-based company, says the Zia people hardly get the credit or economic return they deserve from the Zia. They asked the tribe if they could use a sign on clothes and in return, give something back. The 10% of the gross sales is going to go to their youth foundation. That foundation helps kids on the Pueblo, but that's just part of the agreement. Owner Chris Lang will help teach kids there how to screen print clothes and set up an online store to be the official sellers of Zia products. The symbol has been in the public domain for over 48 years now, and it was never trademarked originally, so it's nearly impossible to protect it from a trademark standpoint from, from here going forward. Senator Michael Padilla has been fighting to protect the Zia and make sure the Pueblo gets some say in its use because there's a lot of history there. And then they will advise them on exactly you know, how to use it, what it means, and, and what is the most appropriate way to use it. So I encourage all New Mexicans to love it, hug it, own it, and, and take care of it. Rachel Knapp, KRQE, News 13. Now, Oregon Mountain Outfitters says its partnership with the Zia Pueblo will last about 10 years. A shipment of their Zia clothes will be taken to Spurline Supply Company here in Albuquerque next week.